Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Clan Quest mod for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Uh, this is probably the question I get more than anything else from people, uh, you know, having difficulties installing the mod or making sure that it's running correctly. So uh, today we're going to set the record straight. You can hear it from the horse's mouth itself, uh, the creator of the mod, how to uh, install it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, the first part of the video is really just going to be going through the installation process in the most basic way possible. That works for 90% of people. Um, after that, I'll go into a little more detail in case you're having difficulties. Um, so yeah, and my recording situation isn't great today. Um, my neighbors are having a party next door, so I hope you can't hear any background noise and I'm installing on Windows Server 2012. So most of you will not be installing the game on Windows Server, uh, but you know that's what I'm using. The principles are all pretty much the same, so it should be fine whatever version of Windows you're using. Um, so the first thing you need to do is, is download the mod, obviously. Um, I've got it here on the desktop the newest edition, version 4.0 at the time of this video is being recorded. Um, you can get that from ModDB or, uh, what is it, PatchesScroll.de. So you can get it a couple different places, shouldn't matter where you get it from and whether you're installing this for good old games or Steam or if you're just using the CDs, it, it shouldn't make a difference. So we run the installer and we say run as administrator. And the first screen here asks you where you want to install it. So this is essentially asking you what folder is uh, Vampire installed at. Um, and what this will do is actually automatically detect your installation. So I actually have the Steam version and the good old games version installed. But the one I installed most recently was the uh, good old games version so that's what the installer has picked up, and that's what we're going to use today. So for 90% of people, as, as long as you have Bloodlines installed, you shouldn't have to do anything here. It should just detect it automatically, and you're good to go. So we say next. Uh, then there's this screen. Uh, this is the installation component screen. So the, one of the draws of Clan Quest Mod is that it allows you to select different components or other mods that you'd like to install alongside Clan Quest mod. And so this screen basically lets you configure that. Um, there's a recommended installation, which includes the plus patch, uh, a couple of the achievement system, the posters, and the weapon sounds mod. Now, I've got another video, uh, should be linked below, that uh, talks about and describes each of these components individually. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to say we're going to go with the defaults recommended installation and proceed. So then it just reviews your options and you click install. So uh, I'll talk for a little bit here while we're waiting. Um, there's kind of like two problems that people kind of run into at this phase of the installation process. Um, one is you want to run the installer in administration mode or in administrator mode. Um, to get full access to the system because it has to copy all these files to the hard drive and modify the vampire executable. Um, so you want to make sure you run as an administrator. Um, and in fact, after installing the mod, you want to make sure that you run vampire as an administrator. Um, there's certain features in the mod that will modify files on the hard drive. And to do that, it needs administrator privilege. So make sure you run the game as an administrator. Um, obviously, that's Windows specific. If it's Linux, I can't help you. <laughs> uh, the other thing is sometimes when people launch the installer, nothing happens. It sits there for a while, and you have to wait. Or while you're running the installer here, it takes a long time. And usually the reason for this, uh, besides people not being patient, is there's antivirus software installed. So the antivirus software will want to scan the installer and, and see, you know, make sure everything's legit, which it is, I can assure you. Um, but if that happens to you and it's taking, you know, in excess of five minutes for the installer to launch or this bar is proceeding really slowly, 
you might try turning off your antivirus software while you're installing the mod. So turn it off, install the mod, then obviously turn your antivirus software back on because that's a good thing to do. Um, so yeah, those, those are probably the two most common difficulties here at this process. Uh, but uh, I'm actually just going to come back. Okay, so the installer is all finished. You see the completion screen here with a picture of Andre smiling at you. Um, so we'll close this. And the first thing you should notice is that there's two new desktop, uh, icons in the desktop. Um, the first one is, I think it's this one, is a readme file. Uh, so this is just a link to a text file that talks about how you can get additional uh, technical support for the mod and, and how to get more information about it and all that kind of good stuff. So feel free to check that out. Um, the second icon which normally should have the same icon as the installer. I don't know why it's not working here. I think it might have something to do with this version of Windows that I'm using. Um, but this is an icon that launches the game uh, using ClanQuest mod. And this is important, so listen up. Um, whenever you are gonna play Vampire and you want to load it with ClanQuest mod, you have to be sure to launch it using this icon. If you don't launch it with this icon, you, the game will still work, but you won't be playing with ClanQuest mod, and so that kind of defeats the purpose of installing the mod in the first place. Um, another problem people run into is if they have the Steam version, uh, they won't have Steam running when they use the icon, so be sure to always uh, log into and, and turn on Steam. Uh, it's updating before you uh, run the icon or the launcher here if you're using the Steam version. I don't think you have to do that with good old games and you certainly don't have to do that with the CD version. Um, but if we launch this here, it should fire up the game. Um, it's probably gonna look really crappy because this virtual machine doesn't technically have a graphics card, um, but we'll give it a go anyways. And so the first clue that it's installed correctly and you did everything right was that you'll see this clan quest uh, header underneath the Vampire the Masquerade header. So if you've done that, you know you've done things correctly, you can go ahead and start playing the game and enjoy this new Bloodlines experience. Um, something else important to note, however, is that when you install clan quest mod, it's going to create a new saved games folder, uh, which means you won't be able to access your old saved games whenever you're running the game with ClanQuest mod. So please be aware of that. Um, and so that's it. It's really easy. It's really straightforward. For 90% of you, you should have no difficulty whatsoever running the installer and, and playing the game. And so if you are one of those people, feel free to sign out here. Um, at this point, I'm going to go into a little more detail for people who are having difficulties um, so that they can understand how to fix their problem. Um, let me take a sip of water here. The first thing that people oftentimes do wrong, the most common mistake people make, is that they install the mod to the wrong folder. Um, so during the installation process, as we just saw, you should get an opportunity to select the installation path. Uh, you want to make sure that you select the correct folder if the wrong one has been automatically selected. So let's take a look at that. If you're using the good old games version, it should be something like this. Program files 86, good old games, games, VTMB, and this is, this is your vampire folder. This is where you want to install the mod. If you're using Steam, uh, it's program files 86, Steam, um, Steam apps, should be common, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. If you're using Steam, it's going to be something like this that is your um, installation folder. And when I say your Vampire folder, I don't mean this folder. It says Vampire, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this folder. Older versions of ClanQuest mod did require you to pick this folder, but it's not the one you want if you're using a current version of ClanQuest mod. This is the folder you want. Um, so please be aware of that. And essentially what you're trying to do is you're trying to get these 
files in the CQM folder copied to the game directory, right? Um, basically, this directory contains all of the Clan Quest mod files. And so when you launch the game, there's an additional parameter that's set to specify that you want to launch the game using these Clan Quest mod uh, files. Um, so if, if it's not working, the first thing to go and check is to come into your vampire directory and make sure that the CQM folder is there. If it's not, you didn't do it right. Um, the other half of this is the launcher. So the launcher is what sets this parameter that tells the game to use ClanQuest mod. So let's take a closer look at that. If we go to the properties on the shortcut, um, you see here we've got the vampire executable, which is at that uh, root vampire path that we talked about. And then you have this additional parameter here. It says dash game CQM. That's what I'm talking about. That's the parameter that tells uh, the game to launch using ClanQuest mod. So if you ever accidentally, say, delete this icon and you need to recreate it or you lose it or something, you can always do that by just making a new shortcut. And the way you would do that is you, this is the vampire exe file here. Oops. Um, you just say create shortcut. Then you're going to come in here to properties and you would do dash game space CQM and say okay. And that should work. So let's see how I did here. Game launches. And there's the client quest header. So there you have it. So really the, the key message here is make sure that the CQM folder is in the right directory and make sure however you're launching the game is actually initializing um, the game using the CQM files. And that's really all there is to it. Those are like the two main issues that people run into. Um, if you're still having difficulties, feel free to leave a comment here or go to Planet Vampire forums, planetvampire.org forums. Uh, there's a lot of people that can give you support uh, on that website. If you're really stuck, you can email me directly. The email is in the uh, readme file here. Um, but ideally, you know, you do one of those other things first. So I'm not the only one answering your questions. Um, so hopefully this is helpful and uh, enjoy the, the mod. Thanks.